Hello, negotiation students. I want to give you some feedback on your first real negotiation round. Here I am inside the sim space, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the negotiation, a little bit about the sim space. One of the key points I want to remind you that you should see in my email is everyone didn't really try hard enough. It's true that when you roll your dice, that random situation gives you a options that are very limited. In order to get more points, you're going to have to take advantage of your situation at the cost of another group. That is true. So it seems like things are very limited. But remember, you do have things like flex points, you can expand your production, and you can buy more if you're a buyer. You also have importance level. So importance level makes a huge difference in your school. One thing I noticed a lot of students did is they wrapped up very quickly. They simply found one group and sold everything they had or they bought everything they could buy. And they didn't even really sell everything they had. Maybe half their inventory was sold. Well, if I was your boss and you sold half the inventory and you came back to the company early, I'd fire you. So in this game, it's very important that you look carefully at what the situation is and then take your time. You don't want to take too long if your situation is not good. If you have a disadvantage in maybe shipping or quality, you may want to convince other groups to buy from you sooner or vice versa sell sooner. However, if your situation is advantageous, that is, there's something that other groups want from you, you need to hold out longer to get a better deal. You need to figure out what is the supply and demand in the market, that is how many buyers and how many sellers there are. Once you figure that out, you need to move slowly in order to use time to your advantage. Or if you're at a disadvantage, if your situation is not good, you may want to hurry up because teams that have something to offer can afford to wait. If the negotiation goes all the way until noon, you should be working up until noon. That way you give other teams more pressure. Let's say there's only two or three buyers, everybody else is a seller. Those buyers should be holding out until the very end to decide who to buy from. And the same is true. If there's only one or two sellers, those sellers should be holding out to the end to get the best deal they can. So you need to really take more time. Number one, to see if your important score is low, maybe you can build a relationship. If your important score is high, maybe you can find someone whose important score is low and take advantage of that opportunity. When I say take advantage, it doesn't mean everybody is going to automatically lose over the long run. It does mean that for this time, maybe someone can afford to give you more. That is, you gain flex points you gain a better price, you gain better options, and the other team loses those, but they're willing to lose them. So while it looks like win-lose, actually over a series of times, it can be win-win. So you need to really pay attention to this and work harder. Take your time, understand your situation. If you're at an advantage, use time to get a better deal. If you're at a disadvantage, hurry up and try to get what you can quickly. Pay attention to your inventory for selling and for buying. If I was your boss and you're the buyer, I told you to buy 1,000 units, you come back with only 500, that is definitely not something acceptable, right? You can see in the scores that our best group is way higher than everybody else. The next best group is almost half as high as the best group. This is very important. This is the way the game works. Those who really get some advantageous situation and leverage it can really push their scores high. We're going to be playing this game every week. So I need you to really think about this carefully. Get more competitive with your team. That's one half. The other half is you need to really practice outside of class. We only have class once a week. 
We have no midterms, no finals, no quizzes, no other homework. I'm not asking you to do anything else. And because of that, I do expect you to at least try harder to get your technology ready. You need to get with your group and practice inside Open Wonderland when you have time. You need to set up times and push your members to work harder. Some people this last week, their microphones were great, fantastic, really, really clear. I loved it. They were able to express themselves and talk well. But then others were still way too loud or way too soft. And some people were still getting echo by having their speaker open and their microphone open. Not using their headphones or not turning on their microphone but using their net notebooks microphone. Really, really bad stuff. This is up to your team to make this work. So get with your team at least once a week and meet inside the Open Wonderland space to plan and to practice. As you get smoother, you're going to do better. Lastly, I just want to emphasize, this class is very practical oriented. I'm helping you learn technology that when you go to work, you're going to be on the cutting edge. These technologies are used around the world, but who's familiar with them? Well, you are now. And when you go to work, you can bring these ideas to your company. That's a great thing. Negotiation. Are you going to just read a book about negotiation that's going to make you a better negotiator? I don't think so. We're practicing it. We're doing it. But if what you want to do is just say, well, I'm just going to text someone on Facebook. I'm just going to use Skype and text someone. I'll call on my cell phone. You're defeating the point. So I'm asking you to get with the system and try. We have all of this ready for you. All of this world is here for you. And I want to introduce to you now something more you can do. You see on that building there, you see that yellow paper up there? That's called a sticky, right? We use them little note stickies, right? You can use these inside the world. You just go to the insert menu and you can insert an object. And this sticky tab is one thing you can insert. And you can right click on it. And when you right click, you can take control. And when you take control, you can type things on there. This could be a big help for you because I've seen people walking around and they're asking, are you a buyer? Are you a seller? What are you thinking? What are you doing? What are you offering? Well, right here, you can put these up on your office space and show people what your offering price is, what your starting price is, or what your situation is, or if you're a buyer or a seller, you can put them up there. I've put a couple here as an example, but you can go ahead and use it freely as you like. You can put them all around, but of course it'd be great if you put them at your office space and then when other group members come by, they can visit you and say, hey, I can see this out here. Really useful. So I want you to come into this space more. I want you to practice it more. I want you to explore it more. And you may think right now it's a little bit hard to do that, but the more you do it, the easier it gets, the better it gets. And the same with using English. It's an international class. At Jones Hill University, this is an international class, and we have some great international students, and I want everyone to try your best to do that. And then someday when you go to work, you'll feel more comfortable, and that's what your boss needs. Somebody like you, more international, more technology-oriented, not someone who uses Facebook, right? That's everybody. Well, not me, I don't use Facebook, but that's everybody else besides me. All right, so I want you to keep that in mind, right? Half of this class, Get serious about your negotiation. Get competitive. Work to win. You can win and the other team can win too. But don't you sit there and get the score one and another class, another group has 50. That's really far off. Unless next time you're going to get that 50. So get competitive. Get planning. Get thinking. Number two, practice more. Come into the space. Work with your group. Develop a team. The best negotiators have a good team. They know each other. They have a feel. They feel smooth. They trust each other. You need to work with your team. So if you put these two things together, practice more and get competitive, then week by week, you're going to learn about negotiation more and more. And I'm going to give you the products. I'm going to give you the starting price, the base price, and the quantity. In this situation, it seems simple now, one product. It's going to get more complicated in the future. Very soon, there's going to be multiple products to choose from. And very soon, there's going to be some other information I give each group that's a little bit different. 
If you don't learn now, if you don't get smooth and easy with the flow now, it's gonna get really hard later. So, please try more, practice more, and when you're inside the world, remember I'm watching you, I'm invisible, I'm in here, invisible, you can't see me, but I'm definitely here, okay? Good luck.